In Victorian times, the cylinder music box could make or break a party in the parlor. Its rich ringing tones filled the room, and the design was truly a mechanical marvel. Today, that distinctive sound still resonates, as companies make these instruments for a growing collector's market. Open the box and you'll discover the gift of music from another era. Just wind up the mechanism inside for live music without any human performers. A cylinder revolves and strategically arranged pins strum a comb to produce the notes. The ethereal sound is similar to that of a bell choir or harp ensemble. It all starts with equipment that stamps and cuts steel to produce a comb shape. A circular saw carves teeth in it. And this tool sharpens them. They bake the combs over flames and then plunge them into a cool oil to create a thermal shock that hardens the steel. With a flat tool, they direct melted lead into a mold positioned under the comb. The lead hardens into a weight that will help produce the low notes. A rotating tool cuts teeth into it. They now spread lead solder on the comb's edge and on a corresponding piece of lead. They file off excess lead and then tune the comb by first clipping the teeth, then grinding them until the notes they produce are precisely pitched. This bit of fine tuning is computer controlled. They dip synthetic feathers in glue and apply them to the bass notes to soften the vibrations. This completes the musical comb. They move on to the brass cylinders and drill holes in them to transfer the musical score. A computer controls this process, as well as the next one, which involves cutting steel wire and inserting it into each of the cylinder's holes. This is called pinning, and of course, in the old days, it was all done manually and was far more time-consuming. Next, they pump resin into the cylinder and it adheres to the wall, securing the pins from the inside. They spray compressed air to cool the cylinder as the resin cures. After an axle has been installed inside, they arrange the cylinder on a base plate and install little racks for the axle to turn on. The cylinder's speed will be regulated by the governor. Using a special tool, they wind a long spring into its housing near the governor. It's the release of this spring's pent-up energy that will cause the cylinder to rotate and strum the comb. Positioning the comb next to the cylinder takes a certain know-how. If it's even slightly out of place, there'll be a lot of sour notes. Dust can also affect the music, so they make sure to get every speck. It's time to attach the lever that winds the music box motor. This little spring completes the connection. They slide this mechanical musical instrument into its box and it's showtime. The classic wooden cabinetry sets the stage for a musical act that has timeless appeal. There are also more contemporary looking music boxes. This arced glass design showcases the centuries old technology. And then there's a version that comes with all the bells and whistles. Here, the cylinder operates cams that hit bells while at the same time plucking the comb. It's a good example why the music box continues to be a tough act to follow. <laughs>